Hey everyone, this is Marcy uh, from Dragonfly Avenue. Today I am going to be showing you how to embed or add a Flowdesk form, a ribbon form, to your Divi WordPress website. Um, however, you can also do this on multiple platforms as long as you know what you're doing. Um, okay, so let's get started. So Flowdesk, for those who don't know, is a new email marketing platform. Very clean, very easy to use, run by women, which is fucking awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's really cool to use. Um, since it is new, there, it's, there aren't a lot of uh, like, like stray integrations, RIP themes. Um, so you do have to use code to add the form to your page. So um, I know code sometimes is a little scary for people, but uh, it does not have to be, and it's actually quite simple to do. So I'm going to be doing this for um, the Divi theme. So let's get started. Okay. So we are choosing the ribbon banner, the inline. You have a couple different options. Um, again, most of these will be fairly similar, um, like uh, how to do it is going to be similar. But we are going to start by customizing. You will select your uh, newsletter or the, the audience. I'm not going to spend too much time designing this right now. So I'm just going to hit next. Uh, you can enable double opt-in. I, I say yes. I want to. Um, if you want to know how to redirect, uh, that is in a different video. So we are here. So this is the main page you want to get to. Here's the form code to paste into your site. So you have two options, header code or inline code. Right now we are going to do inline code. Um, header is going to be, this is primarily going to be used for like pop-ups or um, like full page sites. This really allows you to customize where it goes. So all we're going to do is hit copy. See that it's copied to clipboard and I am going to go to my Divi page. So um, this is already like pre-designed, but you can, uh, you would just enable the visual builder. Now this is the current one that I have um, and that is built through Divi itself. I am going to go and hit add new module and then I'm going to go and select code. Then all I'm going to do is uh, do command V because I'm on a Mac or paste the code inside and then hit save. Now sometimes with Divi, one thing that you have to remember is that the code doesn't show up if you are on the visual builder side. So you have to make sure you exit to make to actually see that it was done correctly. So we'll just hit save. And once that is saved, we will go to exit the visual builder so you can see how it looks on the front end. Again, you can see that it's not really visible unless you like kind of scroll and then you can see it. So let's just do exit visual builder. And as you can see below, it is right here. Um, if so we did have a inline, um, if you remember, let me go back, let's customize, we had an inline. So what happens with Flowdesk is this automatically, I'm sorry, shrinks to the width of the, the sot of the page. So if this is, um, so another example would be if you're on a mobile, it's going to be a smaller side. That's why it's condensed like this. Let's go back and make sure we have the full ribbon view. So I'm simply going to add a new column or new row, I'm sorry. And again, we're going to hit code. We are going to paste. So now I can show you the differences. Let me just exit, save and exit. And you will be able to see the two differences. Um, and the nice thing is you don't really have to, you know, mess with 
flow desk and making it a certain size or whatever, um, it does that automatically. So it is responsive. So again, here you can see that it's um, stacked. And here you can see it's a the full width uh, ribbon bar. So this is how it would look if it wasn't side to side. So um, that's all you really have to do is just add the code module, copy and paste the code that uh, Flowdesk uh, gives you, and you can add it in, and you are all set. Okay, hope this is helpful. Uh, definitely, um, if you have not yet heard of Flowdesk, definitely check it out. Um, you do get 50% off your subscription um, if you sign up through the link um, on this page. So definitely do that. Um, and if you have any other questions or follow-up questions or are curious about anything else, um, I'm still setting up Flowdesk for my own business, um, but um, I think it's really cool and it it's definitely a game changer um, within the email marketing business. So uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, have a good day. Bye.